Good morning, guys. Uh, day after giveaway, and I want to congratulate Sid Fraser. Uh, I did receive your information, and I am going to try to get in the mail today or tomorrow. So, congratulations. All right, guys. Um, so, we're moving on with this book, which is The Girl in 10,000. And the reason it has been a while since we've done anything on this book is because as I was working on it, it was not wanting to cooperate. The book was, when you start digging into a book, sometimes you get surprises. <laughs> and this one, this particular one, I, I know you guys haven't seen the fabric. Let me show you the fabric. Okay, this particular one had a lot of little pin holes in it. And I tried to fix some of them, and they just, I just didn't like the way it looked. So I decided that we would cover the back. I've never done this before. Cover the back, wrap it around the spine, and wrap it to the front. And we were able to keep our cover. Now, um, I ran just a pale, pale kind of salmon color lace down the front with a little tiny peachy salmon ribbon in the middle. And I hope that's okay for the person purchasing this book. But we still have our ten and t A Girl in 10,000 cover, which is just beautiful. And this book will have to have some corner covers because, well, you can see, see they're, they're in need. This book was really in, in poorer condition than I expected. So, I, you know, it's kind of like when you go to, let's say, flip a house and you look at it and you think, man, I can make this nice. But then when you get in to start on the flip, uh, sometimes you get surprises. <laughs> but I was determined to make this book into a beautiful book. And I feel like so far we have. Now we have things to do. It doesn't have any embellishments in it. Oh, and this is the inside cover, which I think looks stunning with the fabric and the book. Okay. I've already added the the few laces that I'm going to add, and I'll be adding a few tabs up here, fabric tabs to match this. And so, let's get in, and we're not going to make embellishments today. We actually are going to put them in. I got to looking, and I had so many <laughs> that went, I guess I had been making them all along, and um, so, let's get started. All right. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this right where I need it. How's that? Okay. Now, there's a lot of different things I made for this book. Over time, knowing that it was coming up. When we did our collages, when we did our decoupaging, when, you know, just on and on. So, I've been making some stuff with the salmon color all along. So, I love, love how this book is turning out. And um, I think the first thing we need to do is work on one of the first steps. Now, this is going to be in the book. Do you guys remember making this? Huh? With this little book. It's going to go right here just says memories it's just a little put together book that was put together with index cards so it goes in this pocket and i will be stamping i'm on a, i'm planning on stamping this belongs to and sliding it in the back this book belongs to so i'm going to take this part out while while we glue the book down. Now I'm going to prop our book with the wipes. 
because I don't want to wrestle the book. You know, it can drive you crazy. Let's move this where it's out of view so we don't have so much confusion. These little library thing, these little library pockets are so th flimsy. You just don't know. go so we're just going to start bringing it to life that is my plan for today and I need one of these wipes so excuse me I feel like I get glue on me every time I glue something <laughs> it's crazy so a little bit of a surprise for some of you <laughs> I know some of you were wondering what happened to Sadie. Well, my daughter just loved her. And um, she honestly got on my nerves because I was trying to get my books done, trying to get this done and that done, and she was tripping me. And <laughs> But I have missed her. And... Um, I, you know, I'm going to turn the book like this for a minute and make sure I got it straight. My prop is not cooperating. <laughs> anyway, you know, my daughter already had a dog, a schnauzer, a miniature schnauzer, and they had had it a year, but she has always wanted a lap dog, and when I told her I was just, you know, worn out from the dog, you know, taking her outside. She's wanting outside every five minutes. And all I, I think it was a lot of playing. And she would eat everything she would see out there. And, um, and it wasn't good for her, you know. She'd come in and get sick and throw it up or whatever. So, yes, I uh, did not think I could take care of her long term. And I'm going to give it one more try for those Sadie fans out there. And I know who I know you are out there because we've talked about Sadie several times. Um, this is my adhesive remover. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them. I've had several people ask me about them. And they are not like a regular eraser. They um, basically uh, take off sticky. So if you have any oozing under your, um, under your image that you're gluing on, then you can just take it off with this. Now, when whenever you're doing it, you do the wet, you let it dry for just a second. Because if you let it dry completely, you're not as successful. But you let it dry a little bit, and then you go back, and it will literally pull it off the paper. Now, it's not for crayons and um, markers and pencils and pins. It is basically for adhesive remover. Um, I know there's a lot of different kinds of um, erasers out there, but this is not your typical eraser. And what you do when this gets cruddy and really, really bad, you just start Get a pair of scissors is what I do. I get a pair of scissors. I'm giving my little demo on the eraser. And I just trim off the yuckiness. And I just round the corners as I do it. And it after it gets a certain length, you can just cut it off. It won't hurt the eraser. 
that was is what it's meant to do. I ended up with this because my um, when I was scrapbooking, I would have, you know, I would use those old Zyrons and um, and you know they always left a residue around the image. So that's what that is. I just wanted to let the ones know that wanted to know. I've used, I've had that one forever, like probably six years or seven years. And um, see, I love our little book. I put, I folded over a spine on it, and then I frayed some muslin, and then I put a little strip this way and a little strip this way, just to give it kind of like a little suitcase look. What can I say? I try. Okay, so that's going to be the inside front of the book. Okay, so we can put a library card in here with um, saying your name, where you put your name. Now, in the back, what did I have for the back? Where did it go? Things are just piled on my desk. And I don't even remember where I was going to put some things. Okay, so this is a bag, a white bag. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I try to put something vintage in all my, my uh, things. And so this is a vintage card. I did add a tab to it because the corners are pretty frail. And I didn't want to mount it on anything because look at this. This is from... Hill City, Minnesota, I believe. November the 7th, 1909. Yeah, it's pretty old. And their writing was not what ours is. It says, hello, Russell. I suppose there is nothing... I can't... I can't... As nice as your little sister. Just wait until she is big enough to play with you. I suppose you are... Going to school now. Wish I could see you again from your Uncle Frank. <laughs> I love it. And so I shortened the bag, folded the backs, and got it to where it would fit just enough that this would stick up. Now, get my prop, my thing to hold my book back. We're going to put this on the back. And also, I don't know, I'm sure you guys remember, we made these, we covered these in vintage doilies. Let's see. Then I put a little button at the top to rec to be the uh, little tag punch area. Added some buttons, added this pin, which is glued in, so don't try to pull it out. Uh, you won't be successful on that. So, this is going to go right back here because it's pretty big and I think it needs to have some space. Okay, so we're going to start up here and we are going to put, uh, you know, enough glue on it because this is probably the heaviest thing that, that I've made for this book. get this to go down here we're going to use on this book we're going to use some of mrs cog's images she didn't ask me to do that but i just thought some of her images would look good with this book and i do admire all of her images also they're very 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 beautiful so i hope you don't mind miss cog that i'm um, doing that. Um, okay, here we go. I'm trying to center this as best I can where it's in a place, you know, that, that works well. Take this out while we're doing that. 
always afraid I'll glue something that I shouldn't. I covered this bottom and made a pocket out of it, a crocheted piece of lace. And that's how the pocket was made because I really wanted to use this little crocheted flower, which was in our color scheme, <laughs> which is peach, yellow, and white with vintage, a vintage look. Okay, so that's on, and you go inside the bag and put this in gently when you're not looking at it. And you have a vintage piece in your book. Okay, so now we go back here to the front, and we can see we don't want to overload this too much because you'll have a, a giant book. Because look, that's already, it's already starting to get chunky and we just put two things in. Just so you know, I'll go over here. I did put belly bands in because that's not like rocket science to do. I put in my the front uh, paper of the journal and then I covered it with this eyelet lace or ribbon or whatever they call it, eyelet <laughs> lace. And then I had this vintage, old vintage flower so you can put something down in here. Okay, and then that was a side belly band and on the f back sec uh, signature, I know I've got another one, let me, it's different though. Let me get over here. I want to show you because that's the only things I did without you other than putting the book together. I did not get to do a hidden spine. The spine was like the back. It had holes in it and it was intact, but it had a lot of holes and it wouldn't take long for those to... There's the long belly band right here. And while we're there, trying to remember what I was going to put in there. I had something in mind to put in there. Hmm. And I wonder what it was. Well, I know what it was. I'm not going to open this. This is to the buyer. And I want her to see it the first time whenever she opens the book. Okay, so there we go. We have that. And uh, I think that's all we've put in was those two belly bands and other than the lace and um, I did this uh, real pale kind of gold for the, the stitches. I don't know if you could see it very well there. But you'll be able to see it when you have it open. Okay, anyway. All right, here we go. Let's start decorating. Now, we're not going to put anything on the front covers because I want them all to look consistent. I mean, you if you decide you want to, that's your preference. Okay, so I, I had these in order, and then I started making a bunch of other stuff. So, let me move the stuff I started making. <laughs> oh, I did just remember something else we were going to do, but we can do it. We'll do it in a minute. Okay. So, I'm thinking every one of my kits need a Frankenstitch. There's the the gold, kind of a goldish uh, yellow, and there's the Franken tag with some coffee stain paper on the back. And it was stitched. I made a pocket, and this is some of the uh, uh, one inch. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. From Ooh La La, it's one of the three quarter inch pockets and this is the uh, not pockets ribbon or fabric 
which looks like ribbon. And then I added a vintage button with, and I put the string in. So we're gonna glue this on, but let's put it together and see exactly where it needs to go. I thought doing the opposite, see, see how this matches this and this matches this. So I thought that would look good. Okay. I think we're gonna do it right here on this inside pocket. I do save all of the coffee stained, uh, just white, I mean, just plain paper. I do save all that for journaling, and I do a lot of my um, gluing on things on the back of the cardstock because it's sturdier and you won't, um, that'll leave you lots the owner a lot of space to journal. So I'm just going to bring it down and kind of out a little bit because I don't like to get too much down in the spine because then you just can't close it as well. You're going to have trouble closing it anyway, but it does help. Okay. I've been tea staining for three days now. Today's the third day. Oh, you gotta love it or hate it. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing to do, but it gets the job done. Okay, now we're gonna lay this right here until we give it a, a minute to glue. Now we're gonna skip over a few pages and I'm sure I'm not putting this in the same place I put it in initially. <laughs> you know, you kind of forget. So let's do... I keep hearing trucks. I don't know what they're doing. There's no telling. Okay, so I'm kind of kind of jump around. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about the dually covered corners. And they're the same yellow. Look at that. Aren't they stunning? If I had to say so myself. I did um, make these. And I made them to be flat. So you can slide a tag in. And this tag I made out of. When I did my collages. I made it out of some scraps. That came out of some of those old planners. And then I added a silver gem. Right there. Instead of a button instead of uh, twine or something. So I'm sliding this tall one in the first one. And I glued this on yesterday so that it would um, be dry for today's video. Okay, here we go. Now let's go a couple more pages. We can always go back and, you know, add more. But I just want to make sure we have enough for everything. Okay, so let's do, let's save this for the, no, we can do this one here. No, wait a minute. Oh, that one was yellow. Okay, just ignore me. I'm babbling. Let's do this one. Here is the pretty floral. And I didn't put anything on it because it's stunning by itself. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, my daughter said that their old daughter just cannot handle Sadie because Sadie's a puppy and he's not. And he's been hiding in the closet because she won't leave him alone. She wants to play constantly. Well, she's about, she was born in May, so June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. She's eight months. She should be straightening out pretty soon. That's, at least that's what I'm hoping for. If she doesn't, and I can't get my work done, and I can't get any rest because of her, I'll have to, I'll have to sell her. And she's beautiful. She only weighs four pounds. And I have missed her, you know, but I knew my daughter wanted her, but... I kind of got the feeling at Christmas that 
my daughter told me, or told her dad, she, she was afraid to tell me, I think, because she knew that the dog was hard on me. Because I told her, I said, she's, she's hard to take care of, and she's got a little attitude, so beware. And so, it wasn't like I didn't tell her, you know. And she told her, she said, Dad, I am just, I hate to have this conversation with you. Because she said, Sadie's driving us crazy. And the kids have lost interest in her because she she's spastic. <laughs> That's the puppy part. And uh, she is driving Cookie crazy. <laughs> So this is a tag that we made back when we we made a video on this. So you can go back and look. But we collaged a lot of stuff on there. See? It's got the button to cover the hole. And then it's got burlap here and here underneath. And it's got some peach paper and music sheet. And then I, I just layer different fabrics. It looks like about four. Then I just put a random piece of lace across here, and it's kind of off on the sides. It's crooked. Put two of my crocheted pieces that came from a big stitched crochet uh, table runner, and these were all stitched together, navy and white. And then underneath, I put some eyelash. Um, so this one is very, very involved. When you put it in, you gotta watch your burlaps loose down here so you lift your pocket up a little bit. Oh, but we're gonna wait. We're gonna let this dry first because I don't want it to separate until we're ready to put it in. There's the center. We're not gonna decorate in here. I did use Wink of Stella on the seeds uh, in the middle. And so we're gonna continue on here. I think I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll save that for the second page. Uh, let me see what else we've got. We've got a lot. That's for the second side, that's for the second side. I wonder what that button came off of. Hmm. Or maybe I never got it glued on to whatever it was supposed to be glued on to. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's flip over to Signature 2 for a minute and let's add some things over there before we put everything. I usually try to do at least five or six things. Well, this is going to have more than that. And... Um, so usually I do five to each, I try to do five to each signature or three to each signature, but I had already done the side tucks and the belly bands. And so that's two right there. And I just put, um, oh, and here's one I didn't show you. It's a card and it's decoupaged. And I love that it's the colors of the cover. And I used a salmon color clip. So it's just clipped over a page. And there's, you know, not anything on the back. Who knows? I may have to add something back there. You never know. Okay, now I'm going to go back here. I was just looking to see what where this button came from. I know I would not have lost a button. No, it hasn't even been glued on. So I must have got it ready for something. I'll set it right there. But, so there we have that one. So we had the belly band, we had that one. We had the side tuck. Yeah, so I'm gonna move on. I don't like to put so much that the new owner cannot um, enjoy decorating the book herself. And I just think that's important. Okay. And let's see, let's go with, I'm trying to decide here, let's go with this front cover. Okay, so 
let's start off by putting this side tuck here. Isn't that pretty? Or maybe the side tuck here. I like it up against this lace better. So we're just going to glue it down one end here. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I know my hand is in the way, but I'll hurry. So we're just putting glue on the straight edge of this, and I rounded the corners. It's a one and a half inch band. And I had some leftover eyelet lace, so I put it right here and then put a flower, another one of those old flowers. I'm gonna make sure that sticks in the book well. Yeah, I like that. Now, I know there was something that was gonna go in there, and we will find it as we go along. Okay, because um, we'll come back to it and put it in. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was journaling cards. Let's decide. Oh, it's this one. I just thought this was beautiful. This is a Mrs. Cox in, uh, image, and that's why I labeled it beautiful. Has some sorry silk underneath the title. Look at all those florals. I love, love it. And this is going to go under here once it dries. Okay? So, we'll put this right here. And it can wait to be attached. Here is the some floral. We're going to go to the back side because I don't want to cover that up. And I think we're ready to add another pocket. So, this pocket is out of the the salmon color um, paper that we have in the book. Okay. All right. Now this one has another strip of the uh, three-fourths inch fabric from Ooh La La, and I will link her in the bottom in the bottom of the video. Man, I have tea stained. What is it? Tea stained till you drop. <laughs> Plus worked on this book and I kept trying to find a place to stop to do a video. And then I was like, well, the things I need to do are just boring. And so I decided to wait and um, so it has a, this floral from Ooh La La Crafts, and this little button is attached to the florals. And we have another decoupage tag, because I loved it so much, and I thought it was perfect for this book. And I used this different old vintage button that came out of my mom's stash. And so I'll show you what that's going to look like. It's going to be so pretty but we're gonna take it out while it dries. Okay, now let me see what else we've got to do here. I'm gonna put something small in here in a, in a minute because, I mean, I make small stuff too, right? Let's see where I wanna put that. Um, Let's kind of skip that page and go to the next one. Let's do it right here. Now you guys know I'm crazy about these little files. Now this one is just one with floral on it. And I'm gonna put it like this and I'm just gonna glue one side closed. And um, then we can slide in this little card that says Livy. This is beauty, growing and living. Which I like that. You know how I am with my... This is not a big one though. This is a small baby one. So it can 
it was part of all the collaging that we did on our video. Now I'm going to glue, well, first of all, you got to get this to stick. Let's put a clamp on it. It just needs some help. Okay, now, I don't know how we're going to glue that on there. Let's let it dry for a minute and we'll come back. Okay, now, I'm going to skip another page and... Let me see. I am definitely using some of Mrs. Cog's images as we go back toward the back. Uh, I'm going to look here and see if any of them fit on this. Um, probably not. They're all pretty good size. Um... And I hate covering up any images that might affect the, um, the book. So, I'm trying to decide on this. This is not the right one. That goes with this. Okay. I'll get it straightened out. Just give me a minute. Some of these images I'm just putting in the book. And you can tuck behind them, or you can do whatever you want with them. So, I really love this picture of this woman working in the garden. And since the front of the book shows garden, she was either picking apples or picking pears or picking something. But we're adding floral to the book. Now, we can do the beautiful like this. Or... Hmm. Or we could, I'm thinking, I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. Now, I think the beautiful was not for that book, now that I think about it, or that picture. I think it was this one, but I might be wrong. Nope, that's not it. I can tell right away. But let's change it out to this floral. I just love this picture because she's just sitting there reading a book wrapped around all this grass and florals and the dog and um, I put a little bit of lace there and then I put a journaling card that says enjoy the simple things so it's gonna go right there all right let's glue that in we're gonna glue it in like a pocket both sides of the picture and across the bottom of the picture. Making sure I've got plenty of coverage. Didn't sleep very well last night if I seem kind of quiet. That's why. I um I went to bed early, you know, compared to my normal at least midnight was it's about the um time I go to bed midnight or later cuz I find myself in my scrapbook room just working away and um get this glue off so I can pat on it without getting glue everywhere. So we're gonna rub this down and make a pocket out of it. I decided to use a lot of her images as pockets because they were, the ones I wanted to use were bigger. Some of them were too big for the book. I mean, you know, she has some big images too and smaller images. And I didn't wanna put children in here because I had never read this book. I don't know if there was kids in it or not. And I don't know if there was florals in it, but I'm making florals for it. Okay, guys, we gotta work on getting up there again so we can get to 2,000. 
So I have a question. I am thinking about doing a little golden book next. Also, um, I am wanting to do a Valentine book. So, does anyone think that a Valentine book would be a good thing to do? You know, I made a book that I used Valentine love type stuff in it for my mother when she passed away. And so it's just pictures of my mother, you know, back when before, you know, in her life when she was young and and then on up. But um so also I taught a class once where and this is where I made it. I used mine as an example when I was making it that instead of having it be an anniversary thing, I did it in February, like the first part of February. And instead of it being an anniversary, I did it for my mom. But several girls did their book for their husbands. And so it kind of had some dating pictures in it and and journaling about, you know, whatever. And then um, it had, when they got married, and then it had um, the wedding, and then it had like uh, just everyday pictures, and then it went to mama's pregnant type pictures. And, and most of them didn't have more than two children at the point that we I did this class. And basically, it was very simple. But I mean, seeing that I make journals now, you know, it would be uh, something that I would probably leave places to put photos and also have places to journal. What do you think about that? Let me know if you think that would be a fun thing to do so that, you know, people can go along with me. And if that's true, we need to do it. Uh, we need to do it next instead of Alice in Wonderland. Tracy has a digital kit that is Alice in Wonderland but I'm gonna do something different with it, and I'll tell you when it gets closer. Um, so, that's the kit that I'll be using next for, my, for our design. Okay, so this trim right here, just, is just hanging on by a string, so we'll fix it. Okay, now this, is, this quote is gonna go inside here once it's dry. Okay, we'll let it dry. Now let's flip back and see if we can't get this crazy thing my crazy file folder back in there. Yeah, see now it's staying shut. So I'm gonna glue it in, and I'm not gonna glue it, I'm gonna glue the whole thing because it really doesn't need to be, um, boy this one was coffee stained and not, not uh, tea stained. I use both, I mix both, because I don't like it overly dark. So let's put this right down here, along the bottom. Okay. This has one dangle charm. I'm gonna try to add another dangle charm. Um, I just don't know yet where okay just want to make sure this is sticking down it seems to be a little heavier so this is a Tim Holtz image on the front and it will be it will have a Tim Holtz image here now you can do it like this which I kind of like 
but you can also do it like this, which is how I'm going to do it to protect it. Okay, so now we're over here, and we've put this pocket in. I'm looking to see what else we have. Let's keep going. I'm saving any kind of journaling page. Oh, here's what I had for the beautiful. I knew there was something. I want it right here. Okay, and back to where I was. I've got this place. Or we can kind of spread them out and then come back and fill in if we need to. Let's do on the back of this one. So I gotta tell you, I think this is so pretty, but look how big it is. I might have to trim it down. Ha, ha, ha. Isn't that aggravating? I just have to trim a little bit off each side, but this side is glued. So it would have to go off of this side. I don't know, let me think on that. Um, now, I really like this image too. And this is not Mrs. Cox. I don't know who, it just was in my journaling cards. And so I'm gonna put it here like a pocket. And if you, if somebody wants to go back and add a pocket, you know, add a picture in there, that will be great. So down the right side and across the bottom side. And I, anything we don't have something for, I will fill in. You know, I'll come up with something. I've probably got things in my already made collage stuff. And um, I just won't dig it out during the video because we're already at 50, right at 50 minutes. So, but we will put something in there. Okay, now moving along, let me go back and see if there's anything that needs to go. Here's one that needs to go in here. And the next time we do a video, um, it will be for a flip through, okay? Um, all I have left to do on this is to fill some pockets. And um, there's that, see how pretty that turned out? Is to fill some pockets and um, Here's the beauty. Uh, you know, I should have known that this would be in backwards. How about we do like this? We'll just turn it upside down. I do that a lot, just so you know. This one is going to just barely fit in there, but it does, and that's gonna keep it from sliding out. Okay. I sometimes, prefer them that way because if you put them in too far from the spine, they will just slip out and fall out of your book. So this way, okay, I'm looking here to see what else we got. Make sure everything's in its box, or box, pocket. I'm just a goober tonight, or today. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> no. No, I know it's Thursday, the um, the 18th or 17th, I believe. Yeah, the 17th. And I believe we're supposed to get snow on Saturday. Ugh. So I might have to make chicken and noodles. Do you guys ever make chicken and noodles? I usually, when I say chicken and noodles, my kids go, dumplings? Because I make, I roll my dough and cut it into strips, and my kids are like, dumplings, you know, they love chicken and dumplings. I'm gonna see if I have one. I had another picture over here I just thought would be beautiful in this. 
but it could cover up her face. I know I'll have to cut it down some, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. So, I will do that, but I'm not, not going to do it on camera. I'm going to trim it down on this side and make it fit in our belly band and decorate around it. So, I'm going to put that right there so I don't forget to do that. I'm just making sure everything's in its pocket. Here's how it's going to look in this pocket. If I didn't glue it shut, no, I didn't. This is one of the very first Franken tags I ever made. I had watched Gail's, Gail's video and it just appeared. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go over here to back to the second signature. See where we left off. We've got, let's see, one. Two, three, four, five, six. See, we're already above what I normally do. Seven. Eight. So there's eight in the second signature. I just don't want to bulk up your book. One, two, three, come on, four. Five, six. So there's six and seven. So we need to put one more in this front one. And I think I know. I really like. This says, uh, there's beauty all around you. And um, let's put it back here. Somewhere back in the back. Let's put it right here. There is beauty all around you. Let's see if this will fit in the book, first of all. It won't that direction. But the thing is, is I don't know if it will fit this direction either, unless I put it in as a side tuck, which we could do that. I just like this picture. Okay, so what we'll do is put it there, and I'm going to see if I have the word beauty. I may or may not have already used it. I have a tendency to use up the bees. So, I don't have beauty on this page. Um, so, I'm looking here. Let's look on the second page. Now, it's continuing the alphabet. We might have it with in the black. Yeah, we do. It's not really what I wanted, but it's better than not having it at all. We'll figure out how to make it look that look good. So, so I'm going to ink this. Oh my gosh, I picked up the wrong word. It must have been next to it. <laughs> I picked up begin. Okay, so let's go back a page. I know I saw it. Yep, that's what I did. Let's try that one more time. There we go. It's wanting to come out. Okay. All right. 
I think I'm going to separate this from the portion of the book that I may just put it down here. Yeah. I don't want to put too much in it because it's already pretty busy. So we're going to do, yeah. We're going to open it up to the outside instead of the, the inside. That way it will um, be easier to tuck it. So I'm going to kind of move it over a little bit. Not a lot. Okay. And here we go. There is beauty all around you. So this one's going to go like this. Cute, right? I'm going to leave it out till it dries. All right, the one picture I'm wanting in here, I haven't found a spot for. So that has to happen at some point. Let's see. Even if she's just stuck on here for beauty. I love this picture. Mm-hmm. Let me see what else I have over here. Let's see if I have something small enough. Hmm. Okay, cut that down. Hold on, let me do that. I don't have room on my table or I'd bring my cutter over there. It does not want to be involved. Got to go to the post office today because we have a, had a winner and I want to get it to her. I'm sure she's waiting patiently. Okay, so we have to ink this now. We're going to put this in behind her because I just like it. Oh, it's got a pretty back. That works out. I don't have to cover that up because it has lace on it. It is a gray, but there's gray, there's black text, and so forth. Okay, so we're going to glue down both sides of her and at the bottom. I wish this, I don't know if it has floral in here or not. I bet it has work. <laughs> I don't know if it has gardening, because it looks like she's doing gardening. Let's see if we can get this on here without sticking my fingers to it. Okay. I really like this one. I like this little circle here that says BU, but I don't know where I could put it. May have to just stick it on a tag and stick it in the book. <laughs> now this glue, I got too much on this one edge, so I'm gonna have to work on it a little bit. Excuse me. So here's another. Another demonstration. I know that I had a page done up. 
that had some more of ooh la la stuff on it. And I don't know what I did with it. I'm gonna dig through this uh, pile over here of things I worked on. Yeah, so Sadie's going to find out the big difference when she doesn't find Cookie over here. She's either going to be angry and be horrible, <laughs> or she's going to be relieved as well. All right, I think I got all that. Yeah. Now, I love this. I know there's different colors, but I still love it. Now I gotta find, I know that I had, maybe it's already in the book and I didn't even realize it. And if so, I've got to go back and show it to you. Okay, let's go back here and just check. And I am going to put this one other picture in here once I cut it down. Okay. So I used the rose or the floral fabric that came from Ooh La La. And I used, let me see if it's right in here maybe. I gotta cut that one down. It's not that one. It's not that one. I better leave that out while it dries. See, this should be dry by now. Let's put it back in there. Love it. Love it, love it. Mrs. Cog, your images are beautiful. Okay. Um, it's not this one. Here's some more from Ooh La La. That's not it, the one I'm looking for. I bet it's inside here. Let me look. It is inside. It's on the front of this. It is the the Tex cream Tex that we had. I did want to put some florals inside this little notebook right here. So that's I work on doing that and putting some uh, more of Mrs. Cox pictures inside this as well. All right, guys, I think you've seen enough for now. So I'm going to say goodbye. And next time I see you, we will be doing a flip through for this book. Um, I'm going to get Sid's book out to her and and then come back and work on this and get it ready to be mailed in the next day or two. Okay, well, I love you guys. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed, we'd love for you to subscribe. This is just an example of what we do. All right, guys, I'll see you probably tomorrow. See you then. Bye.